Are your kids struggling with percent and ratios? Let's handle that right now. Percent is just a number that is a fraction where the denominator is 100. A ratio is different than a fraction. It tells you how one thing relates to another. So for example, two out of every 100 people have red hair. That would be a ratio. You can turn ratios into fractions and percents, but they don't always have 100 on the bottom. For example, three out of every five people like dogs. If I asked you, what is 100% of three? 100% means you get all of it. So 100% of three is three. But if I said, what is 0% of 10, 0% means none. Okay, so 100% means all of it, 0% means none. Okay, so we have the ends of the spectrum here. Now, how do we deal with all the stuff in the middle? What if I said, what is half of six? You could probably do that in your head, right? But if I wanna know the percentage, Let's take a look at how to do that. So half looks like this. Now, a percent is a number where it's 100 on the bottom. So if we multiply top and bottom by whatever number I need to to get the bottom to equal 100, suddenly the top becomes the percent. Okay, so that's 50%. 50% is a half. You can do this for a quarter. I want a quarter of all the brownies that you make. Okay, So I'm going to multiply by something to get the bottom to be 100. In this case, it's going to be 25. So if I only multiply the bottom by 25, I change the problem. So I've got to multiply the top 2 because this becomes 1. 25 over 25 is 1. So I can multiply a number by 1 and it's totally legal for me to do that. Okay, Because it's over 100, the top is the percent. You see that so far? Okay. Let's take it one step further. If I would like to know what is 15% of 25, the easiest way to do these types of problems is to convert each word into a math symbol if we can. So the first thing you always look for is the word is are some kind of verb like that, the, the, the to be verb, <laughs> okay? And that is your equal sign, okay? And then we build our equation out on either side. So what, that means we don't know what it is. So what is always gonna be a variable? And you can pick the letter, I like to use X. So what is, okay, 15%, 15% means 15 over 100, okay? of is multiply and 25 is just 25. Now we have a problem because these look the same, don't they? Okay, so what I would do in a problem like this is multiply is now gonna be a dot so I don't get them confused with the variable. All right, so x is 15 over 100 times 25. And then all I have to do is multiply these out. Um, I'm actually gonna simplify first. 25, this is four times 25, and so the 25s cancel out, and so I have 15 over four. Okay, and that's my answer. And you can write it in decimal form if you like. Now, if you'd like to learn more about learning math the easy way, I'm actually giving a whole class on it for free. Just click on the link in the description or the comments to register. Simply go to getmath.net slash learn. Okay, let's continue. Five is what? percent of 80. Okay, so let's convert this. 5, we just write that down, is, that's our equal sign, what, that's a um, variable, what percent, okay, so it's going to be something over 100. What percent turns into this? Of is multiply, and then 80 we just write down. You see how we're taking words and making them into math symbols that we can work with? Okay, now all we have to do is solve for x. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this side by 100 over 80. And if I do that, I also have to do it over here. Now, why would I do such a crazy thing? <laughs> because look, the 80 on the top 
is going to cancel with this 80. And the 100 on the top is going to cancel with that one. So I'm basically putting these numbers over here. Okay, so this is a multi-step, well, this is a one-step um, algebra manipulation here. Okay, so we're just dividing out whatever's in front of the x. So if that went too fast, I'll, I'll do it again in just a second. So 5 times 100 is 500 divided by 80 equals x. Okay. And then one of the zeros cancels out, so I have 50. So x is going to be 50 divided by 8. Okay. Let me do this middle step a different way so it's a little cleaner for you to see. So I'm going to rewrite it as 5 equals x over 100 times 80. So write, write what we got when we were working on translating the words into math. So what I might do here is I might say 5 is equal to x, 80 over 100. Okay, and just put these two together like that. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by whatever is in front of the x. And in this case, it's going to be 80 over 100 and 80 over 100. Okay, and then that will cancel this out. And then it winds up over here. Okay, so to bring something from downstairs to upstairs, you flip it. So this is 5 times 100 over 80 equals x. And then you see we got the same thing. So here's my is, okay, and then we just write down the 30. 50%, we write that as a fraction. Of is multiply. What number is x? Okay, so now I'm going to divide both sides by 50 over 100, okay? So I'm going to multiply by 100 over 50, same thing, 100 over 50, okay? And then this cancels with that. I just have x on one side, and I have 100 over 50 times 30, okay? And so that's going to be, um, I can cancel out one of, this, one of these and this is now going to be a 300 over 5 equals x, okay? And 5 into 300 is 60. If your kids have been frustrated with learning math and you'd like your kids to learn the easy way, I invite you to a free class on fractions, decimal, and percent that I'm giving. You can register at no charge. Just click the link below in the description or the comments or simply go to getmath.net slash learn.